Yeah, I mean, disappointing you know, to start the uh, home season the way we did, but I, I, I want to really give the, the Georgetown kids credit. I, I thought they played really well, played really hard. I thought really uh, caused us some headaches. So on, on a variety of fronts, you know, they did a really good job on the coaching front, on getting their kids ready to go, on handling the away trip. And then, uh, you know, we, we just uncharacteristically, we're, we made a lot of miscues. Uh, the, we've two weeks in a row have lost the turnover battle and created some really, you know, short fields for the other guys and didn't convert really deep when we had it. Then it's a tough way to try to win a game. You know, it's really hard to beat anybody if you're going to turn the ball over five or six times. Uh, so I think we're frustrated on a lot of fronts, but I'm going to start off by giving Georgetown credit for forcing us into doing some things maybe uh, we didn't want to do. And, uh, you know, we just got to kind of collect ourselves and, and move on and, you know, just kind of get back on track because uh, it wasn't a great practice week. It wasn't... Uh, you know, great preparation week, and I take blame for that. And, you know, these are the results you get when you're playing against a good team and you don't protect the ball and you don't do a lot of little things. So combination of everything starting from me and going all the way down that we need to improve on. And, you know, we'll, uh, we'll work hard to try to get some of these things straightened out. Um, I'm sure they came in well rested. I'm sure they put in some new wrinkles that we didn't see. Uh, I'm sure, you know, like every week you get things tweaked. But, again, I, I, I think the thing that, to me, is they played harder. That, that's, that's where I think the difference was. They, they just played harder. They played with a little bit more of an edge than we played for whatever reasons. And, again, that all starts with me. So it, it falls on me. It falls on our coaches. It eventually gets to our kids. But... Uh, I, I'm not certainly putting the blame on anybody else but me. I've got to do a better job preparing our team, getting our kids ready to go, and really doing a much better job of emphasis of protecting the football and creating scoring opportunities. Yeah, well, again, I, I think our protection kind of broke down. So they, they again, played a little bit harder, were able to squeeze the pocket, got us into some negative plays, got us into predictable down and distances, and... We just didn't hold up as well as you know we're capable of holding up or need to hold up, and certainly in those situations. So again, I'll credit the Georgetown kids for playing really hard. Their down kids is the strength of their defense, and I think you saw it today. You know, I thought those kids played really well up there. They were stout against the run, and they collapsed the pocket pretty good against the pass. Again, I think we have to go back and you know what I tell them every week. <laughs> You've really got to invest in what we do on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday to give yourself a chance on Saturday. And the message isn't going to be any different. Uh, you know, just again, we just have to do a better job, both as coaches, schematically, but also as kids from a practice perspective, from a getting things done perspective, from competing in practice perspective. And uh, again, it's, it was evident when that doesn't happen and you're not nearly as ready to play and as confident as, as you need to be when you get into these kind of games.